Good morning from BBC Victoria's Breakfast. A BBC investigation has found that some adults in our area are waiting almost two years to be diagnosed with ADHD. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is normally associated with children, but it also affects around one and a half million adults. Waiting times for an appointment in Kirkleesham and once Yorkshire are some of the longest, and in Lincolnshire there's currently no provision for adults. What's been concerning is mainly the fear that that comes from the filter and we're not going to use what level of ADHD is there because we're still in the general area so we couldn't say it's great there's no access to all travel ADHD services and we're aware that the waiting list for some of the services fairly is going to be Well the Department of Health insists it wants to see improvements and says it's working towards quicker diagnosis for patients. The leader of Rotherham Council has spoken out to defend the salary of the authority's new head of children's services. The £145,000 salary is more than the same job in Sheffield, which has twice the population of Rotherham. The council says it reflects the scale of the job. There are concerns for the well-being of fish and wildlife in a number of the region's waterways during this summer's heatwave. In Selby, the Environment Agency are working with the Canals and Rivers Trust after reports of a number of distressed and deceased fish. Work is now ongoing to help aerate the water. Meanwhile, a charity in Lincolnshire, which acts as a food bank for farm animals, says there could be a crisis this winter. Forage Aid sends food and bedding to farmers during extreme weather, but it's already taking calls from concerned cattle farmers who say their grasslands have dried up and some are using their winter stocks. The problem now is they're having to supplement feed the, the livestock with it because the grass is, is, uh, is dying off with no feed value and so they haven't got enough, uh, they won't have enough silage and enough winter feed to last in the winter. Some travel news to tell you about now. One of the main roads in and out of Sheffield is blocked both ways this morning and there's queuing traffic in both directions on the A61 Kinnerstone Road. That's because of an accident. And the weather with Abby Duhart to Dewhurst. Mm. The last few days have been hot. We get a bit hot today. It's going to be even warmer and even more humid. A mostly dry day, but we can't rely the other isolated showers in the afternoon. Now, there's really a sunny spells and variable cloud, but temperature wise, we could get as high as 32 Celsius for parts of Lincolnshire, about 29 or 30, I think, for parts of Yorkshire. Fresher and a bit more pleasant along the east coast. Overnight, then the showers will become more frequent. They'll continue to drift up from the south. Heavy showers, potentially some thunderstorms, but it's important not to take these graphics too literally. There is an increased uh, risk of seeing these further east, but we may well see a couple of further west as well. A very, very warm night. Lows of just 16 or 17 Celsius. So further thunderstorms in the forecast tomorrow. We did say there'll be a fresher feeling this night. I'll be back with more news headlines from across the region just before 8 o'clock. Bye for now. Thank you.